Hey Glamazons, welcome back to my channel. My name is Makita, and I'm the founder of GlamazonDiaries.com. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. I hope you're having a great day, regardless of whatever time you're watching this video. If you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the notification button on so that every time I post a new video, you are alerted. My channel focuses on fashion, size inclusive fashion, travel and lifestyle as well as weddings because I'm getting married in September and I'm going to take you along with me. I actually did my very first bridal edit which was all about my what to wear to the Hamptons for my bachelorette party this July. If you haven't checked it out already, click here to t it'll take you right to that video as soon as you're done watching this one. So today's video, it's all about the bling. We're talking about my favorite pieces of jewelry that I wear. Um, these are all mostly costume jewelry. Um, none of them are high end because I, I feel like I still haven't grown up yet. <laughs> enough to wear um, super expensive jewelry out so I love these pieces they range in price between well most of the, I'll say 99% of them are under a thousand dollars most being um, 500 or below and a lot of them actually are even lower than that so um, stay tuned for that but I wanted to show you this outfit that I'm wearing it is actually a dress that I designed myself in Ghana, I had my seamstress or my family seamstress make it for me. It is so beautiful. It's this beautiful lace. Look at this. The details on it, it's gorgeous lace. And they just made, she she just created this beautiful dress with tiers of ruffles. Um, I just wanted something tasteful that I can wear for a special occasion if I got invited somewhere. I can just put it on and it's an ode to my country. So this outfit, sadly isn't available yet um, but it's one of my favorite pieces um, I got this my mom got it for me she picked it up in Ghana for me um, three years ago I, I I was like I need you guys to make me this outfit actually I have a whole bunch of Ghanaian um, made outfit or made in Ghana outfits or dresses and I can do a video for of that if you want to see that another time anyway so let's get started with this video my favorite 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 piece of jewelry is this one that's right that is it's the ring that my fiance gave me it's an emerald cut diamond with the wispy band I love the emerald cut because it's just so timeless and I also I did I wanted a gold band because I wear mostly gold jewelry and um, the prongs on it are in platinum so that it just blends in perfectly so it looks kind of like invisible um, this is my favorite piece of jewelry of course but I'm a little biased let's move on to the actual the actual video all right so the first one is this uh, these earrings from Danny Joe these are um, I got them on a sample sale and they're such a statement piece I love them it's a moon and a moon and stars motif in Swarovski crystal it's one of those dainty pieces that I feel like anytime I wear it, it just zhuzhes up my outfit so just case in point with this outfit here it just looks so pretty I love the purple and I'm actually wearing purple because I feel like purple goes with both gold and silver so I'm going to show you all the pieces that I have so this one is from Danny Joe I wear it um, especially during the evening if I like a little black dress with this would look so beautiful um, I also wear it just like with jeans and a, like a fancy if I want to be fancy going on a date night like casual date night but I still want to look cute and like a little bit ele elevated I have I slick back my hair and then I do these earrings and they're just fabulous speaking of Danny Joe the next ones are these pearl earrings you know I love my pearls like pearls are my best friends so these are the gigantic pearl ball earrings from Danny Joe as well and they have a little um, crystal or rhinestone um, stud on the top and then the big pearls I love these are like my go-to I feel like anytime I just need to look polished I I try not to go anywhere without earrings so these look really good and they are just a just as um, a basic earring they can wear regardless like day or night they look really good and I feel like this you can wear regardless of your age whether you're 16 or 60 you can still rock these 
still on the pearl train or pearlesque train. I have these heart shaped earrings from Lily Saduhi and it is just look at these. So they're heart shaped earrings with um, an outline with crystals. Really cute, very um, dainty as well. And I love the white. It just, for, for me, it just looks so good on my skin tone. I love these earrings. I wear them a lot as well. And I got these on Lily's website. Um, they're really, really cute. Like, really cute. I love them. Um, let's see here. So this is what they look like. I actually got these for Valentine's Day, but I, I wear them all the time. Valentine's Day last year. I wear them all the time, so they're really cute too. Some of my other basics include my Chanel um, studs, the just the CC studs. Right? These are everyday earrings. Um, they're small. They just, I mean, I got them back like a few years ago, and I love big earrings, but I feel like there are times where I just want to put this on and call a day. Look at them. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see there you go very very easy to wear and this one you can wear every single day like you don't have to take them off at all so I wear these a lot as well you've seen me wear these earrings to death they're the Kenneth J. Lane coin horn earrings I got them on um, at the outnet or is it Netta Porter um, but these are so cute they're not real ivory just FYI these are from Kenneth J Lane I love the coin detail right here and then of course the horns it looks so good well, let me put this on for you so you can see it these also go with this outfit really cute right you don't have to spend a lot of money on jewelry so here's a quick tip for jewelry that you really want to get but you can't afford yet I sign up for list which is L Y S T and I just go on the different websites to see the things I'm loving I just put everything in my list like my um, alerts and they alert me when they're on sale or if it comes back or what whatnot so that's one way and then I just make sure that I time it with seasonal sales especially Netta Porter Farfetch um, the outnet you can get a lot of these expensive pieces for a lot lot less but you, that means you have to also wait a little bit longer but these are things that I'm I wear all the time so I don't mind waiting until the end of the season to buy things that I've actually wanted to put in my closet or incorporate into my into my uh, jewelry wardrobe. I have these vintage earrings that I just acquired yesterday. They are from Julia Vaughn and it's vintage Kenneth J. Lane earrings that actually came with a matching ring. Let me see if I can find the ring for you. Um, okay, I don't know where the ring is, but this is... So these are the earrings. They are clip-ons, and I don't mind clip-on earrings at all, even though my ears are pierced. They look so good. I mean, and it's very, very light. That's that's very important to me. I don't like earrings that, like the clip-ons that hurt my ears. I love them. Um, it has a matching ring, but I like. I think I, I have them somewhere else, but like in my jewelry bag, but these are so cute. And they'll go, they go with like, honestly, they go with like every single thing that I have buy, I make sure that it goes with everything in my closet. So these go with, these will go with this. It'll go with just a t-shirt, a button down shirt, um, a little black dress. And let's see, moving on from there, um, let's go with a few affordable pieces. So I have, I love Amazon for I mean, yeah, there. I love Amazon for knockoffs. These two earrings are from Zara. They sold out pretty fast when they uh, came on sale. Um, these are from a few years ago. So I, this is ugh, this multi-stoned square earrings look exquisite. I wear these so often. I love them. Hold on a second. Let me just put them on for you. And these are under $15. They just, look at this. Again, goes with my outfit. I, um, so I, I go on Amazon, I, I stock Amazon. It's super easy to find um, some stuff that if you feel like, if you love certain things and you can't find them, they're sold out. 
I usually um, just take a photo of them and then search use the image search on Amazon to find them so I found these on Amazon they're so dainty look at them I love these so cute and under $15 you can get them actually they're not heavy at all they're really light and they look really good with just my face shape which I have more of a like a roundish face so if it goes if it matches my face it will match yours too it will look really really good this just I love the square shape of this I think it's um it reminds me of like Vogue um the Vogue cover I think it was like when Anna Wintour first started there is like a Vogue cover this just reminds me of that it's so pretty and then um and then the next ones are my uh these are my tropical earrings these were from also from zara but i got them on amazon and they are so the ones from zara have the clip like this but the amazon ones are just they have earbacks or are they called earbacks but this is what they look like i've worn them so many times i'm going to insert some a video for you but look at this and again matches my outfit so um yes i love a statement piece but I, if I'm gonna spend even a dollar, I want to make sure that it's gonna work with many things in my closet. Look at this. Pretty, huh? The next two earrings are from a New York-based designer called Mignon Gavigan. Maggie, I actually played uh, flag football with her a few years back, and I remember when she was doing her earrings now they're at Bergdorf they're at Shopbop they're at um, Tucker Duck so many different boutiques have her line but one of my favorites my all-time favorite is her um, Madeline earrings these look like angel wings I mean you put them on it doesn't matter what you're wearing it doesn't matter what you're wearing and these just make your outfit look just it just pushes your outfit to the next level let me see. All right, so there. These earrings are from Mignon Gamagan, and they're so beautiful. The angel wings, they're called the Madeline, or Madeline, and it is just a statement. It comes in so many different colors, but this one is, I love the rose gold and the silver together, which I feel like balances out anything that I'm wearing, but these look so good on, especially like with your hair pulled back, or big curls, they look amazing i'm getting the white ones for my wedding they, they're actually a little bit bigger than these ones but i figured for the dancing and reception portion i want to have a statement earring because for my dress for the main ceremony i'm doing something dainty but these ones in white are going to be so cute and they are um i think they're 285 i'm going to put i'm going to link them for you I also have the palm earrings from Mignon Gavigan as well and they are um, these are my tropical my summer earrings spring summer anytime I'm going out um, in the summertime with a maxi dress or something floral I love these so then they're so fun and they actually go with this as well purple and orange in my last video I wore these earrings from pink reef which is a Alexandrian based Alexandra Virginia based designer and she makes super dainty statement earrings I this is my favorite the butterfly but she has a whole bunch of different ones but this one is just so pretty I love the etching of the butterfly right there and then it has all the flower detail around it and then of course a big flower and a stud with um, some crystals around but this is also um, a statement earring that I wear I love to wear all the time hold on it's so weird um doing an earring wearing earrings and then not looking in the mirror to do it so these are the earrings you've seen my pearl earrings from never not retro i've talked about them to death so i'm not going to stay on them any longer but here they are of course they're included in my favorites and then um these earrings are from a collaboration with two Georgian designers, La Natia and Laco. I think that's the name, the two names. 
or Natia and Leko, but they're elephant earrings. They have different animals, but I love the elephant. Um, and since we are thinking about doing our honeymoon um, in Tanzania, I figured, let me, you know, this is my wish list. And for my birthday, these are what I got. these are I mean such a statement I love them um, they're so light and of course they have the back is a um, they're they're for pierced ears but looks amazing with everything I mean you can do something dressy like this or you can just do casual and they still look really really good so um, these are still available on Farfetch they were before but they're back and on sale first of all I'm kind of mad that I didn't get them on sale, but it's okay. You can get them on sale. These. Oh. I know I said I don't do silver often, but I love just a, a nice bling. And these ones are from an Italian brand. It's called, it's Al Cool or Al. I can't pronounce the name very well, but it's their fan rhinestone earrings. They're so, just a, such a statement. Um, I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to show you if. There you go. So these are um, fan earrings. They are drama. I have worn these with um, dress your stuff. I wore them especially in the in the winter around Christmas when we're in Dallas. Since everything is bigger and better in Dallas, I figured I'd wear these because they're so pretty. And look at them. They're exquisite. I, oh my god. Actually, I, I think I might wear them with these. We're supposed to go out tonight, so I'm going to wear these earrings today. All right, I think I have two more earrings to show you, and then we're done with those. So, my friend Anchi, for, for those of you who don't know, I used to live in D.C. I grew up in the, in the D.C. area. I grew up in Virginia, northern Virginia to be exact, and I lived in D.C. after college. So one of my friends who lives in DC, Angie Wei, she is also she's also a blogger and she collaborated with a DC designer whose name is Mindy Lamb and she makes these beautiful beaded earrings, these flower earrings. So and she collaborated with her to create these and I was like, "Girl, send me some, I want it." So these are so I mean, every time I wear them <laughs> They're so extra, but I cannot help myself. Look at these. I mean, so pretty, exquisite, drama statement. I wear these a lot. They're so just extra. I wear them with everything, but these are just such a statement. Mm -hmm. And I have them, so I have that one. And then I have the wraparound earring, which is, you can wear, I wear one in this ear because it's so extra. And then I'll do something like my Danny Joe. So this is right here. And then I'll do something like this here. So it's just not too much, but look at this. They're really beautiful. Um, Mindy Lamb. You can check out her collection. Everything is going to be in the description. But these are the earrings, the flower earrings. And it come, it has like the little ear thing to wrap around. But they're so pretty. And she has a whole bunch of different colors. I also have them in the black. These are the black ones. And I got a long one and a short so I can, again, do a big... I mean, this, I feel like this outfit, this dress is perfect for every single jewelry that I, every single piece of jewelry that I own. So this one is right here. What do you think? What do you think? I love them let's move on to rings I don't have a lot of the rings um, as I said my engagement ring is my favorite but then I have several boss rings this is from my friend Lara's company pretty connected and this is the boss ring because you're a boss 
So I love wearing this one. Um, she, it comes in silver, rose gold. She has several of them, but this is my favorite. I also have the Kenneth J. Lane ring, which I got from, uh, this is the dome ring. It's vintage, but it's such a, st I mean, it's such a statement. I love statement rings. I could probably wear this with it just like that. Um, and it looks so good. I got this from Julia Vaughn and she's dropping a new vintage collection um, on the 20th. So I'm going to link her website for you so you can check it out. And then um, this one, I'm going to try to say it without, without crying. Um, sorry guys. So this is actually, um, it's, it's called Jinyami and it is a it's a, a ring that I got. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so this one is actually um it's a Ghanaian symbol ring that I got um made and I have two of them. So this is actually uh the symbol that is on my dad's uh on my dad's grave. Um and he's since he's buried here, we did a um we put this on there for as All right, I'm back. So sorry, guys. Um, so this, as I said, is from it's uh it's called a dinkra. It's a dinkra symbol from um my my people, my my tribe in Ghana, and it is called Jinyami, which means there's nothing but God, and this is what is um we inscribed on my dad's grave. So I have two of them that I wear a lot, especially when I miss him. So these are like this is very sentimental to me. So this is like anyway. All right, let's move on to the next few. <coughs> in terms of jewelry, I would say um, chain belts. I love chain belts. And these are vintage. This one is a vintage Chanel coin chain belt that I have had for a few years. Gain weight, couldn't wear it because, well, it became too big for my waist. But I have started wearing them again. And I've been using some chain extenders to wear them. So I have this one. Um, this one is one of, it's my favorite and I also wear it as a, um, let me see if you can see the coin. There you go. So I also wear it as a necklace. A lot of times I'll double, I'll double it up to wear it as a necklace. Um, and it is, it's such a timeless one. This one is from the nineties and I love the nineties Chanel because the jewelry is actually in 24 karat gold plated instead of, I don't, I forget the, the ones that they're they are now and then I have the Versace one this is also vintage Versace um let me do this Medusa all right this is the vintage Versace chain belt really cute and so heavy but I love it um so this one is as well I wanted to mention these because I wear chain belts a lot outside of my Instagram like styling stuff but I'm trying to incorporate more into it so you can see some of my everyday outfits as well. All right, let's move on to the final, which is neck bling, gold chains, gold chains, cute Trinidad James, gold everything, all gold everything. I love gold necklaces so, so, so much. Actually, gold jewelry. I mean, I am from the Gold Coast of Ghana, so gold is like, it's in my soul. Let's start with the, uh, the easiest ones. This is from Julie Voss. I've had this for years. This is one of my, my first pieces from Julie Voss. Really nice and heavy. And I love the detail of the of the chain links right here. I have the matching bracelet as well, but I wear the necklace more often than any other. Um, this is what it looks like when you put it on. Very, very chic. Oh, so pretty. I, I love this one. Um, I got this in 2000 and... Uh, I'll say like 2000 I've had it for about six seven years now so that's one of my favorites and then these two I got this the next ones I got in Paris we were having lunch and I saw the table and I was like oh my god they have all these amazing gold pieces I want to get some so I got this one it has a gold clasp I love that it's flat it just lays flat on my neck so it's not it's look at this I love this chain so much. I wear it with everything. This is one of those everyday necklaces that I wear. It goes with everything. Anytime I'm wearing something that has a ne like that has exposed decolletage, I reach out for this one, or I reach out for my other favorite, which is this hammered gold. 
it is so pretty um again i got these for they were like 10 euros or like six euros each we haggled i mean the guy was selling them for 20 euros and we were able to haggle him to i think like six euros but this one as well look at that i love i just i think this is so nice i wish that more designers would create gold um, necklaces like this um again like just because it's flat and then it has the um it's like a marbled or hammered gold right here it's really really well made i feel like if i was if i were ever to create my own jewelry line this would definitely be one of them and it's easy to actually put it on by myself because it has this wide um link so that you can clasp it on easily do this like that so super easy this rope necklace from brinker and eliza uh this was a, a this one was a gift from t for my for christmas actually and i love that it's such a statement it has the um a green heart at the bottom of it so you can wear it like this i can wear it um hold on y'all like this might be a, a little bit of a long video because i'm trying to put on necklaces so i can wear it like this um and the, when i anytime i wear it like with the heart in the front it's usually wearing something where i have an exposed decolletage but most often i wear it like that it's like very mr t right and um what i love to do is to just layer some necklaces on top um, this is my newest acquisition. It was actually gifted um, Totem by Afton. She is a Texas designer and she makes these um, Talisman or totem, totem necklaces, but this one is a coin necklace I'm trying to show you so you can see it, but it's not focusing very well And then it has the eye the evil eye right here um, Which is to guard against spirits or like negative energy. So this one is my latest acquisition and you've seen me wear it before you see me wear it actually i think last video i wore it in there and then um actually before before i go to the very last piece this is the other one um this is we also got this in paris at a vintage at the vintage um store it's a black owned uh vintage shop I will find the I have her business card still but this is vintage YSL heavy 24 karat gold plated um, I mean everything about it I saw it I was like uh, I want this I love the brushed gold like look at the details on here it's like I love the brushed gold it looks so good I mean it's beautiful and I just feel like they don't make things like this anymore without it being super super expensive so this was definitely one of my favorite finds when we were in Paris um, if you ever get a chance to go to Paris make sure you, you peruse the vintage shops because they have such amazing things but look at how pretty this looks together with my boss ring my bracelets my Kenneth J Lane dome ring looks really really good all right and then we've come we've come to the very last one the last piece that I just got again with these I got them with the Julia Vaughn pieces I saw this actually on um, scout the city Psy. I gagged I was like oh my god I want this necklace it's so cute so I went on the I clicked on her page went and it said it's from Julie Vaughn or sorry it's from Julia Vaughn I hope I haven't been saying Julie Julia Vaughn and it is this y'all this is like money y'all ready for it I mean, holy moly moly. This is two pounds of, it, her name is Holiday, and it comes in silver and gold. It's, it's so exquisite. Look, it has her logo, Julia. Oh. <laughs> it has her logo, Julia, right here. And it clasps like this, so like this this is what it looks like 
but when I say it's heavy, it is heavy, but like feel good heavy. Like she makes it in, I think she's in, she's based in California and she makes these exquisite pieces that just, I mean, these are collector's items. I'm trying to put it on for you so you can, you can actually get a feel for what I'm talking about. All right, ready? Okay, this is it. I mean, how regal. This is Julia Vaughn um, Holiday, the necklace. She is exquisite to no end. Look at how beautiful this is. I love this thing. And this is her ring. I know I said my last piece was the Julia Vaughn, but my actually, like, actually my last piece is my Black Panther necklace. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. It is my Louis Vuitton Plastron necklace. I call this my Black Panther necklace because it reminds me of what T'Challa's, you know, costume or his, yeah, his costume. But it is, look at this. It's kind of it's a little heavy um it's a choker but it has the lv all over right here you your lv um flower it has the logo um it's gold and then the back has the lv right there but i this this necklace when i saw it i was like yo i need it i mean i don't need it but i want it um so this is what it looks like right here i mean Black Panther or no? I'm just saying. Is this Black Panther or no? Wakanda forever. <laughs> this is like just, this is Wakanda. If I were to be invited to uh, T'Challa's birthday party, this would be what I'd wear. I guess now it's, it's gonna be Shuri. You know, Black Panther 2 is coming, but this I'll probably wear this outfit to the Black Panther 2 premiere. But this is like, I mean, this is so regal. It is, who does she think she is? Glamazon, hello. Look at this. I love them. I love these. I love this necklace so, so much. Um, This is sold out. It is... Um, so this is the back of it, so it looks like, and this is the front. And then you clasp it like this. Okay. So this is a snippet of my jewelry collection, but they're my favorite, absolute favorite pieces um, that I wear all the time. And then two things I store my jewelry in. I have these two LV, they're like, I mean, I use them for jewelry. So this one is the winter, uh, the winter game, the winter edition. It has the, the little character skiing. It has the LV canvas monogram. And then the inside, I have a few things in there already. I have my, actually I have my Kenneth J. Lane um, shell earrings, which I wear in the spring summer months. So they're coming up. And then my, this a more uh, hair I guess barrette hair clip hair yeah hair clip hair um, yeah, whatever it is so I have this one it's in there as well this from H&M and then I have my Susan Shaw so these are like stuff that I always wear um, come spring summer and I so I put them in here just to keep them from being getting dusty and then I also have this one this is like my more special keepsake which has a little key the, the lv key so this is her and it's got like it's like my special jewelry that t has given me over the years i put them in here uh and there it stays locked up safe so that i don't lose anything in there this video has been a long time coming it's been one of the most highly requested videos for the past two years on instagram and i was like okay i'm gonna film i'm gonna film i'm gonna film but I wanted it to be more impactful and I feel like YouTube is probably better because it's more long form. So I hope 
all y'all from Instagram came to check it out. Let me know which one was your favorite. Which one did you like better? Like, what are the pieces that you loved most? What type of metal girl are you? Are you a silver girl, a gold, a rose gold, or do you prefer pearls, turquoise? What is, like, what's your favorite? Leave them in the comment section. So that's a wrap on the bling bling edition of Glamazon Diaries TV. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had such a fun time watching me try on jewelry that you're like, now I need to go play in my own closet. I'm going to link similar items if they're sold out. A lot of these pieces are sold out because I've had them for years. But they're what I add to my outfits to make them extra special and zhuzhed. So I hope you enjoyed it. In the next few videos, I'm going to do accessories edits because you guys seem to really want me to do more accessories. So I'm going to do a shoe edit. I'm going to do my belts as well as bags and uh, hats. Those are going to be the next coming out. I'm going to do, like, I'm going to probably do more um, tailored towards the season. So I will do my spring, summer shoe, hat, and bag collection for you, as well as sunglasses, because, I mean, I love sunglasses a lot. If you go on my Instagram, you see it. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave me a comment, questions emojis leave them in the comment section and i will reply back i love hearing from you and it's fun to be inclusive so leave them let's chat let's have a dish and you can find me on instagram at glamazon diaries you can find me on twitter tiktok pinterest clubhouse skype everything i'm glamazon diaries you can also check out my blog which is where i started first original blog which is glamazondiaries.com have a great day and I'll see you soon. All right, bye.